Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you a nice tip and hack how to bring out nice color from the clouds, so basically in the sky. So as you can see in this example, the skies, it's a little bit like, it's kind of nice blue, but it's, it's very light and it's very kind of like boring. So if I really want to have this cinematic, beautiful blue, clear blue sky, then I'm going to show you how to do this. If you go to window in your Premiere Pro and select Lumetri color, and if you can't see any of these, you have to click on them and they will unfold. So basically what you can do if you have kind of like very light sky, as I mentioned, so you can bring out the contrast a little bit. But as you can see, the darker like shadows will become darker. So I'm not quite sure this is like the best thing. If you bring the highlights down, now we're gonna get some nice blue, but the highlights are again like down so some places are darker so of course like you can bring the shadows up and then play with the contrast a little bit so obviously if i compare this like there is like a slight difference but i still don't have this like beautiful clear blue you know so let's uh, of course if i go with the saturation this is very this is something you have to be careful about like saturation is not a normal color that eyes or screens are used to so really easy on that i i usually like don't play with that um only by a couple of points but other than that just forget it but let me reset this and we're gonna work with hsl secondary so HSL stands for Hue, Saturation and Luma. So let me show you what I mean. Go to Eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on the blue of the sky. And as you can see, these sliders moved right now. So I selected the blue that I want to change. And for better setting, I'm going to click color gray right here. So I can actually select the part of the sky that I want to change. Or actually like any kind of blue that I want to change. So Luma, of course, as you can see, like there's a big difference. So everything darker, I can just select out, right? So I can keep it out. And I can also kind of like spread it. So in between the trees, now I have these gaps of the sky so that's nice the saturation okay so i can bring more of these spaces but again now i'm going actually in the front as well which i don't really want so i'm just gonna go back and don't overdo it on saturation <laughs> ever either way and then hue so a shade of blue that i can actually expand and now basically I have the whole sky selected and everything other like the rest should be okay. And now from this color wheel, I can actually select the color that I want the sky to be changed to. And this applies to anything like the trees or if you have like a red jacket or anything. So if I'm going to click, for example, on this like between green and blue, Ooh, well, as you can see, this is definitely a difference. And now I've got this beautiful color. So, of course, if I go a little bit darker blue, I'm basically going back to the original. I can even go like purple, like there's a storm or it's kind of like the other world. And yeah, the green is kind of like doesn't change it much so I really like let's do this one I really like this and now if I go back to basic correction and now I can actually like bring that contrast and shadows a little bit and turn the highlights down 
now I can have like beautiful sky which are is blue and really really nice so definitely has seen the difference um, before after and you know like before this doesn't really indicate like summer you know it there's you have to adjust all these things because it's very hard to film this with DSLR and you have to close the aperture a little bit because the Sun is too sharp and too strong so you kind of like have to play with this in the post-production but of course this is beautiful like amazing so if you have any questions leave me the comment and I'm gonna answer everything all the questions as soon as I can and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to publish more tutorials, especially on Premiere Pro, but also Premiere Rush, let's say, and like podcasting, Anchor, and stuff like that. So don't miss anything. Thank you for watching. Leave the comment in the comment section. Like, share, and please subscribe.